Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. So Tesla has been pushing the whole car industry over the last year with all the price cuts, making the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y the obvious choice if you're looking for a car in the premium segment. So obvious, in fact, that the Model Y did become the best-selling car in the world last year, a title no other premium car model has ever held before. But Tesla has more than just cost advantage over the old legacy automakers that they can't keep up with, they also have a technology advantage, and Elon Musk seems keen to weaponize this against the old legacy automakers. A move the legacy automakers have no counter move against. They can do nothing but watch Tesla steal even more market share and make the legacy's EV demand problem even bigger. So, let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So the legacy automakers have not been happy with Tesla pushing down the price of their EVs as they are losing a lot of money on selling their EVs so they can't follow Tesla down in price or they will just lose even more money. And I think someone like Ford thought it was quite enough losing $4.7 billion last year on EVs. But now Tesla is taking this a step further. Not with more price cuts, but making the whole world aware of Tesla's lead in full self-driving. And making sure everyone knows just how mind-blowing their version 12 of this full self-driving software is. As full self-driving version 12 continues to impress, and now Elon seems confident enough to get it out to more people so everyone can see just how far Tesla is on a full self-driving driving car. So as he wrote in an email, going forward it is mandatory in North America to install and activate full self-driving version 12.3.1 and take customers on a short test ride before handing over the car. Almost no one actually realized how well supervised full self-driving actually works. I know this will slow down the delivery process, but it is nonetheless a hard requirement. I think this is a brilliant idea. As Elon says, most people have no clue how well full self-driving version 12 works, and we need to show the world. And Elon is taking it a step further as he wrote on X, all US cars that are capable of full self-driving will be enabled for one month trial this week. This is a lot of cars that will get full self-driving beta version 12. As there should be something like 2 million Teslas in the US, so maybe half of them are able to get full self-driving beta, I don't know, but this is still like a million owners that will have access to this mind-blowing technology and talk about it with their friends, or even take their friends on a test drive as well. And I personally think this is exactly the kind of things that is needed from Tesla to get more people to buy the full self-driving package, get everyone that test drive one to try it out and give the owner a one month free trial. This should not only get more people to buy the software and get the take rate up and bring in almost pure profit to Tesla's bottom line, but it should also get the information out to more people on how well Tesla is doing on full self-driving. And apparently it is not only at the deliveries, but also cars returning from service as he wrote in a later email. So Elon really wants people to try this this new software out and understandably so, as even people that have tried version 11 before are pretty blown away about how good this software is. So just think how mind-blowing this will be for someone that has never tried it before when they come just to test drive a Tesla. And then afterward, test driving something like an ID3 or an ID4, they are going to feel like absolutely dinosaurs. But the ID4 in the US cost basically the same as the Model Y, but it's hard to even compare these cars, as one is a fun high-tech machine that can rip your face off and the other is an old school slow car without any fun or even a frunk. 
and then you experience full self-driving version 12 on top of that. Yeah, this could be a big blow to the old guys as they have no counter move for this. They can't give out a free trial of their full self-driving software as they don't have it. All they can do is just watch this play out as Tesla will make their cars even more compelling. And not even by adding new things other than a free trial and a test drive, but by simply letting people know what kind of mind-blowing software they can have for either $12,000 on top of their car or as little as $200 a month in a subscription in the US. So this might also indicate that some price increases for this software is coming or maybe Tesla will take it completely off the menu to purchase and only have it available as a subscription as we see with most other software. Because Elon has talked about how it's very difficult to price full self-driving as it will end up becoming something very, very valuable. But I don't think many people are willing to pay something like $50,000 for this software package, even if it is for a full self-driving car. So just like Tesla's robot that is going to be so valuable, I don't expect Tesla to sell the robot, but you can rent it or lease it for for a monthly subscription fee or something like that, simply because a humanoid robot is going to be too valuable for Tesla to simply sell. I think that is probably what Elon has realized for full self-driving as well. It will become too expensive to buy as a standalone product for everyday Joes. So they have to make a subscription to make it more appealing for more people. And then they also get around the whole issue from us that have already bought the software, but it's linked to the car and not to the owner. Because there will not be any software linked to the car, you will just add a subscription to your car just like you do today with premium connectivity. Right now it's only $200 a month or a little over $6 per day. This seems very cheap for some of the most incredible software the world has ever seen, and especially when we get to 100% full self-driving robo-taxi standard. But we will see what the price will eventually become and how the structure will look like. But no matter what, it is a very valuable piece of AI software Tesla is creating, and they now want the whole world to see it. And if you buy a Tesla, you can also add this software later, if you like, with a single push of a button in your car or in your Tesla app, you don't even have to decide when you buy the car. You will never be able to get that software update on your ID3 you buy today to suddenly be able to drive itself. It will never do that. And with the subscription version you have in the US, you can just subscribe for a month doing your summer road trip around the country, where it would be nice for you that the car can drive you through the long stretches of highway or even all the way there, while you have a chance to better enjoy the scenery. And that will cost you right now 200 bucks. That really does seem cheap right now. And if we are really getting as close as I think, and with Tesla no longer being compute constrained, I would not be surprised if the price of the full self-driving software went up. Because this software makes Tesla's cars very unique. No one else has this. The Model Y is basically the same price as the Ford Mark E or the ID4, but you will just get so much more bang for your buck with the Model Y, not just in terms of acceleration, specs, range and charging speed and charging infrastructure, but you also are buying a car that can be upgraded down the road to become an autonomous vehicle. Your Mark E will never do that. They still can't even make a real over-the-air update for that car, even though Ford promised it would be able to do so, but Jim Farley, Ford CEO, has basically been out admitting it will never happen because the software in that car comes from 150 different software suppliers. It's just too difficult. It's almost impossible. So they will not be able to make a true over-the-air update to fix whatever is in the car or give you new features and so on before they have developed their own in-house software system for the entire car. So this move Tesla is making here should make Tesla's Model Y or the Model 3 
even the more obvious choice than it already was. The Model Y is the best-selling car in the world, so it seems like people really like the car, and that is without Tesla going all in on showing people just how good the full self-driving software is. Before you kind of had to know that Tesla had this great full self-driving software by yourself as the staff at Tesla. When you did your test drive, would not really do a thorough test of the full self-driving features. But this will set Tesla's car apart from pretty much anything else in the same price point or even anything above it as well. This could potentially put as much pressure on the old guys in the US as the price cuts did. As with the price cuts, they did come down in price with Tesla as they had to, but that just meant losing a bit more money. But here, they can't compete at all. They can't offer anything comparable to Tesla's full self-driving version 12.3.1 system and for the little price of 200 bucks whenever you want it makes it pretty affordable this will not make the car much more expensive to buy but it will make the other ev players bevs feel like old dinosaurs at an uncompetitive price i think 2024 is going to be the year we see tesla's full self-driving take off even without getting to 100% autonomy, it will still wow people and set Tesla apart from anyone else and make the best-selling car in the world even a better bargain. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>